box here contains a Ferrari pizza making oven, it's electric and it's been ordered via Amazon. Everything seems to be ordered via Amazon today, doesn't it? What we're going to do is, in a moment, I'm going to open this up and we're going to see if we're entering into a world of clandestine knowledge uh, where something fairly simple, for some strange reason by a lot of manufacturers, is made very complex and difficult to understand. However, give the benefit of the doubt, we'll see how this one pans out when I actually open it and we'll see how easy it is to uh, activate this equipment and see how it actually works. I've got a piece of paper here where some uh, testimonials give great uh, recordings of fantastic pizzas that have been made uh, in about four to five minutes. So we'll see how this goes. First of all, I'm going to open it up and see how easy this is to get it working. So here we go. This is. Uh, this is all the confirmation of the price, which was £119.99 plus VAT. And now to get to the main piece of equipment itself, I think I'll have to turn this upside down to get it out. Okay, there we are. We've got it inside this box here. Looks fairly impressive. With a lovely pizza on display there. Now let's have a look at this. And this is the first time I've come across this, so I don't know what this is. These are the obviously the spatulas for uh, removing the pizzas in the oven. Instruction manual. Recipe book for pizzas, and now we'll remove the actual oven itself. Again, I think this might be easier just to tip it upside down and get it out. Okay. Packed, it's arrived, undamaged, it's in good condition. Nice okay, there it is. The Ferrari. Pizza Express machine for homemade pizzas. That's the plate that it's cooked up. As I say, these will be the spatulas. Pieces on there, taking them off. Okay, so we now move on to the uh, user manual, which, as usual, is it's in Italian, which is very reassuring, establishes credibility. But we need to go to the English version. General information. So we've got. Right, we've moved on to the general information. This is the, these are the instructions, so we've got the English version here. Let's just read this out to you. There's no way I can memorise all this, and in any event, it's the first time I've seen it. Okay, here we go. To protect against electric shock, do not immerse cord. I'll show you this. That's the cord, obviously. Uh, 
plug or any parts of appliance into water. Okay, that's very straightforward. And this one's a corker. Do not use the appliance near explosives. Okay, so we all have quite a lot of explosives stored away in our homes, I'm sure. TNT. Uh, so just be careful about that. Um, and don't, yeah, don't use near highly flammable materials, gases, or burning flames. That's fairly straightforward, apart from the explosives. Do not use appliance near bath, shower, wash basin, or anywhere near water, as that can turn into a source of danger. Okay, I'm sure not a lot of us would be having a bath using a pizza making machine or having a shower at the same time. Do not let the cord hang over the edge of the table. Mm -hmm. Pull out the plug from the main socket when the appliance is not used or when cleaning. Allow to cool before putting on or taking off parts and before cleaning. When operating the oven, keep at least four inches of space on all sides to allow for adequate uh, circulation. Oversized foods or metal utensils must not be inserted in the oven as this may create a fire or electric shock risk. Pizza, bread and other sorts of food can burn. Keep the, the appliance for, uh, far from curtains or other inflammable materials. A fire occur if the oven is, may occur if the oven is covered or touching flammable material including curtains blah blah blah. Do not store any item on the oven. Do not place any of these in the oven, cardboard, plastic, paper or anything similar. Uh, do not store any material other than accessories recommended by a manufacturer in the oven. The oven is off only when it is unplugged out of the socket. Attention, the pizza oven in an adequate position for easy opening of the cover lid both from right and from left side. Don't open it when you're in front of oven. Steam is quite hot. Okay, that's important to know. You don't want to be getting first degree burns. Open the cover lid in the same way you used to open the lids of pans while you're cooking. Always wear protective insulated oven mitts when inserting or removing items from the hot oven. And lastly, let other potential users read these instructions or all hell could be let loose. It could be dangerous. That then is the review of the basic instructions, a lot of common sense. Don't forget, put that TNT away. Don't want it anywhere near this uh, pizza making device as you've got to get some explosives in the house. What we're going to do now then is we're going to go on to actually making a real pizza. And then we'll see if this is going to live up to its expectations and these testimonials that we've got here from other people we'll put it to the test and see if it really is good. We'll give you an honest report. Okay, let's see how it works. While we're waiting for this oven to preheat, we've got here the pizza base, so product placement time here, Napolina we've got here. In this pack we've got two bases it looks like we can use there. So what I'm going to do is cut this open in preparation, Two pizza bases, so we only need one obviously in this instance. That one there. And we will now start applying the toppings. Next stage, we're going to actually prepare the pizza base. Pizza base, so the sauce goes on first. We'll spread that out across the base. Make sure there's a good cover in there. The tomato in base. It's that. Now the actual toppings. So I've got grated cheese here.
go and give it a good spray. That's okay there. Put the mushrooms on. Moving on to the, the courgettes and the ham now. Just a few. We can't put too much on or it's going to be overloaded this. Just a good sprinkling. Good good flavouring. That's enough there. And the ham. Give that a good spread across there. I think that's nearly enough. There. Right, that's that. Then we've got tomatoes. Berry tomatoes, these are more like. And the dried tomatoes as well. Love those myself. And again, we, we don't want to clutter this up too much. That's enough there. And some more cheese. enough there and just to finish off with some basil some good flavoring there with the basil perennial favorite for pizzas can't go wrong with this right we put all the toppings on there we've got the pizza base ready this is now going to be placed into the Pizza Express oven. I don't know if you heard that there, while that was running live, we had the actual timing of the second five minutes, so that's gone. What we're gonna do now is we're going to keep this set at between two and a half and three, and we're going to set the timing as per the manufacturer's instructions at four minutes. We open this up very carefully. This is really hot. We're going to put the base on there. You can see it's been used previously. I don't know if this is coming out on camera. Um, this was a lovely beige before, but with it being cooked on before to test it out, before we did this, it's gone darker now. Panic ye not. This is as per the manufacturer's instructions. This is what will happen. So don't panic about that. Now we apply the pizza with the clock ticking. We close this down, taking great care because it's damn hot. And we're now waiting for four minutes to see uh, what type of culinary delight we've got here. So we'll see what happens. Cut. We're just waiting for the uh, four minutes to expire, which will be signified by a reassuring ping. There it goes. Well, it's finished. Don't panic, you can see, I don't know if the camera's picking this up, there's quite a bit of steam coming off here, but that's part of the natural cooking process. So now we're going to open this up, and don't forget, it's really hot. Let's have a look at this, and there we've got a lovely, looks lovely, steaming pizza. And voila, with the help of these uh, magical spatulas that have appeared from nowhere, I'm going to remove this pizza. red hot onto the plate and now is the moment of truth let's sample some of this pizza let's see if it actually lives up to its testimonials that we've read let's see what this is like I'm going to eat it by hand, it's easier. Hot. So it's very good actually, but I want to go venture further inland to where the toppings are and see whether that's cooked properly.
want to use the knife and fork for this because it is hot. Very well cooked pizza, very tasty. So for me, it's passed the test. That was pretty good. Homemade pizza we've got there. Let's try some more. As I say, this is really hot. Really tasty, well cooked. This is far superior to just putting a, a pre-made pizza in the oven. It's much better.